Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Canine Clips Dog Grooming Tips. This is Stanley, and he is a Bichon Pekingese dog breed, a mixed dog breed, and he is ten and a half years old, and he's, for the most part, pretty good, except when I'm using the clippers on his legs and uh, trimming up his feet. So then he becomes a little bit more difficult. We'll see how he does. I'm going to be using a number 10 clipper blade on the whole body, including his head, face, ears, and tail. So he's going to get a complete shave down today. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really appreciate that as well. that he proves me wrong and uh, has no problems with his feet but the last time he was here he did so sometimes they just become a little bit more sensitive as they get a little bit older and sometimes their nails grow a lot faster or because they're senior they're not going for as long a walk, so they're not wearing those nails down. There's so many factors. Makes those feet a little more tender. So far, so good. All right, so I'm hoping I'm completely wrong. <laughs> the last time I wasn't able to do a video on him, so I marked it down to do the one on the next time he came in, just to capture those difficult, his difficult feet and legs, but obviously it was maybe a little off.
little bit here. That's okay. Damn it. Okay, I know. It's okay. Good boy. Uh -uh. It's okay, see? It's okay, I know. Oh, it's okay. He gave me the look. Maybe. Not very uncommon. See that a lot in my dogs. I come here, the front legs are just a little bit more sensitive. Oops, a little clump in there. Always good to have lots of extra um, blades available that are ready to go. But when it does get warm, you can switch it out. And of course, when it goes dull too. They only go dull when you use them. Just like that barbecue propane. It could be fine right up until it dies. <laughs> No warning. Oh, 
I like to have three to four flipper blades ready of each length that I use. And that, I'm just ready to swap it out. And even sometimes that doesn't work. And sometimes they'll go dull kind of at the same time because I've been using them over and over, you know, together. And they kind of sometimes go dull at the same time, so. But I always have sharpened ones ready as well, just not unwrapped. Okay. Okay. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Ah. Okay. Switch around again. You're doing so good, buddy. Good boy. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Come here. It keeps sneaking away. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but for a good time.
the difficult part of the feet. Yeah, it will be okay. The scissor part, yeah. Okay, where do you want to start? The mirrors? Thick in there.
Okay, there we go. A little bit of dried wax at the end there. But nice color. And it was dried in there, so. Now it won't be able to stick to anything, so it should come on quite easily. Okay. I've got to do your feet now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, ready? Come on. You do your back one first. And hopefully, it won't be too bad. Hey. No, you have to stay. Stay there, bud. Stay standing. Stay standing like that, Lee. Where do you think you're going to go? <laughs> oh no. Okay, Stanley. Just a little sensitive. No, you can't go under there. I know, buddy. I'm anticipating when I trim his nails, he might bark or whine or yelp because <laughs> I'm assuming his feet are a little sore here. Hey. No. Hey. Hey. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> you got that down crack here. No. <laughs> hey, Stanley. This is the back foot. Hey, this is supposed to be the easier one. Okay. So it really does test your grip. So it's important to hold on when they are resisting. Yeah, okay, all done that part. Let's see if we can get this part done. No, no. Hey, Stanley, no. It's important to. Oh, we got one piece of hair in there. Because otherwise, it just reinforces them to continue this behavior. Hey, Stanley. Hey. I'm not letting go, buddy. Nope. Just wait. Time out for some. Oh. There. Um, Sorry, oh, his mouth is. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Clean that off. Okay, try that again. Okay, I'm still going to do your nails. So. Let's do them. Get them over with. Good. Good, good. Okay, one more. Hey. Yay, good boy. Yeah, you did it. Okay, you survived. See? See, it wasn't that horrible. A little tricky, maybe. I don't really need your nose right there. I'm just inspecting. Okay. People always wonder why I'm twisting their arms, but I'm really just trying to hold it. <laughs> And then the dog kind of twists themselves how they want. So, although 
It looks like I'm twisting it. I'm just holding it. And he has twisted it himself. I'm trying to get away from me. Stanley, stay. Okay. You have to be waiting here. No. It's okay, buddy. Two more to go. Whew. It really works your hands and arms. Just holding them in place. Okay, let's do the back one. And hope that it's a little less resistant so we both get a little break here. Also, why I learned to use scissors in and around the feet when I first started. My dog really did not like clippers anywhere near his feet, so I just learned on scissors. And I've found that most dogs are a little more comfortable. Well, the majority of them are more comfortable with the scissors in their feet rather than the vibration of those clippers. So it keeps them a little calmer. Yeah. That wasn't too bad, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, no. Stanley. Hey. Stanley. He's putting his mouth on the clippers, not me. So, well, drooling on me. But, so that's why if he does put his mouth on me, I would put the cone on him. Okay, the most difficult part now here. The front paw and the last one, so his pit. 
patience is probably gone. my hand to break. My thumb is getting sore. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, get them out there. Not as easy as it looks to hold it. buddy and you're done and you're all done okay 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 good okay done with that he's like okay you said that was it okay he's got some powder on it powder powder <laughs> okay, there we go. And it's not uncommon for those overgrown nails to bleed. Okay, well, that was the difficult part of the groom. And then we are going to get to hopefully easier part of the groom. Get my <laughs> Good boy.
just rubbing it. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Here, come on. Hey, just let me rub them. Let's try to keep them all clean. That way, if his nails do start to bleed again, I can notice it on the table right away. But they should be fine now. He's right at the very tips of them. get the blow dryer on him. We'll see how we go. Gonna get them cleaned up with another number ten to go over everything.
Okay, that, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Get it, you're tired. Me too. You're so done, but... Okay, and just right around his eye. Okay, so I'm going to blow dry them again real quick here. Okay. And then I see there's a few flyaways in between his toes here. So I hope you enjoyed this food. Yes, you're all done.
So, as I mentioned before, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope you're having a great day. And hope to see you again soon. Okay, there. Okay, you ready? Okay, see you again soon, guys.